calipa, olor de mar, coches y gripa, el humo te oculta la vista, tierras incógnitas, llegan cada día mexicas, el bravo para los capitalistas, suechos de camisas, si queja y amarran a la migra, coyotes aumentan tarifas, con mil manifas, obreros superan con tapistas, esa chave tuvo razón, en la calle pelados, manejan la mitad del estado, traficando nieve con drogados, usan The road from Quetzaltenango, the site of the preliminary round of the Codech Microlock competition and Concepcion Huista, is lengthy but worthwhile. At the end of the trail is the home of an organization of small producers growing coffee and corn. Their corn is great, but their coffee is some of the best. During the first round of competition, our group tasted 24 different coffees, which generally fell into three categories. Some were refined and elegant, with aromas of honey, tropical fruit, rose water, stone fruit, and rum. Others were juicy and jammy, with blackberry, blueberry, and strawberry. The third category featured coffees that were loaded with sugarcane, roasted nut, and caramel. The ability of Kodech to produce coffees this excellent and this diversified is very exciting. Typically, a cooperative will produce large lots of approximately 40,000 pounds of blended coffee from all altitude ranges, producing good coffee, but not necessarily a coffee that meets the potential of the group. By segregating the better coffees, the cooperatives can achieve tasty results that can compete with the best coffees in the world. This is a win-win situation for buyers and sellers. As buyers committed to working with small producer groups, these projects allow us to acquire coffees of exceptional quality. For the producers, these projects allow them to increase their revenues by selling higher value coffee to quality oriented roasters. Pega con bastón y les meten en el yubi pobre condición, donde se paran café negro y anglosajón. Si no peleas al lado de tu raza, pues sos mamón. Mejor juntarse con la pinche asociación. Salí duro de la cárcel como pitón. The base cooperative that won the competition was Adintec, represented at the event by their president, Don Alonso. Their coffee was exceptional, with one buyer scoring at over 90 points. It was effervescent, elegant, and sweet with watermelon, cane sugar, caramel, peach, and strawberry. In second place was Adipi, with a coffee that was more jammy and raspberry-like. Adintec also took third place, followed by Adat in fourth with a coffee that was Ian's favorite, featuring a great balance of mango, spices, sugarcane, peach, and dried fruits. We're excited to bring you some of the coffees from this competition this summer. We have our favorites, and we'll be working to secure these over the coming weeks.